Shamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Ooh. Ouch. Alright, so, um, welcome back. This is Sen. I'm playing Psychonauts, and I'm fighting Kochamara. Whew. Good thing gave me that shield. Bonk. Ow. No, I was blocking. Alright. Boink. Ooh, sneaky. Womp. I see what he's doing now with his hands. Save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you? Let it all out. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I see what I need to do. Womp, 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 womp. <coughs> That's right. I have quite the claw I just noticed with my attacks. Give me health. Boink. I'll have more health, thank you. Boink. Oh. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me! What are you doing? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Is it? Is this the end of it? Oh my goodness. This is a silly battle. Alright, are we done here? Kochamara. Kochamara? You alive? Bro. People of Monfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. <gasps> Finally. Okay, Tower. Get ready for Goggalore. Goggalore. Well, he was evil. But he well, he was evil. But he did build a lot of roads. Hmm. <laughs> So what do I do now? Oh, I climb this now. I can see all of Longfishopolis from here. This is quite a small level, like in size of what was made. But um, when I was uh, playing on the Xbox and you could only walk, it was one of the longer ones because it was just trudging through. Oh no! Fuck. His butt's on fire. Fine. Take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nap children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of yeah, I get it. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl. <laughs> I said in my lap. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl too. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Be gone, Coach Amara. Hooray! Now, if you just move aside, I'm gonna try not to squish you as I walk past you. Human child. <laughs> who is that? It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Hmm. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The 
creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> the end. I've been eaten. Anyway, so now begins Act 2 of this little show that we've got. Act 1 was all the old Psychonauts, and then finished up with a gigantic reveal of Coach Oleander being the villain and a battle in Lungfishopolis. Now, I am on the other when side of the lake. To travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. Linda. What a magical lady. <laughs> Anyways, so now we're at... The Asylum, spoken of by Coach Oleander. And now these levels get way too difficult. Oh, I can jump super high and I can move around. Oh, it feels great. Now I actually have some good abilities that I can use. Yeah. <gasps> What's this? Lily's bracelet. Womp, 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 womp. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I played Psychonauts. Hey, I was talking to you, jerks. So now, huh? everyone's minds that I'm about for? to go in, what? they are uh, insane. And as I'm you can imagine, the who? 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 That doesn't fit in. That as you can imagine, Maybe their brains are a bit wrong. harder to traverse, okay, and it's okay, gonna be so cool. Who are the puppet masters of the intelligence community, with the full blessing of those idiots? In so, and the dog track. Um, this guy shows uh, he has one of the coolest uh, levels, but he so also I don't oh, yeah, has one of the more confusing man. levels. Uh, so the so uh, I'm, never I'm, find I'm, out I'm, I'm done trying to talk over him. I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. I'm doing the dirty work. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Um, Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. <laughs> Where's the milkman? Hmm. I'll bet he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. Okay. Um, so, um, pawns of as you can imagine, I'm going right back the inside this guy's head. Produces. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Not another tracking device. This guy is insane. He is paranoid. Everyone that I'm about to go into the brains of, they all have different mental disorders, mental diseases, very serious ones. And this guy has extreme paranoia, as shown in this world. And it is going to be so cool. You're going to love it. Now, this is part of the game, because I could always blow through Act 1 really quickly. Perfect, isn't it? But Act 2 is a bit yes. more foreign to me, so I'll be a little bit Almost slower complete. with this game. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now, which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. <laughs> How many are there? I count 14, but that's not the number on my hand. That's not the number on my... So, the last level is very small and simple. This level is very large and very complex. Um, you'll, you guys will see in just a few seconds. I'll make sure I show you before the episode ends. And I'm talking over this music. So apparently it wasn't just that I sucked when I first started making Let's Plays, but it's that there's always stuff happening in Psychonauts. So anyways, clairvoyance let you see through the eyes of another, trying to press directly or a handheld object that, uh, that, uh, 
bears this special aura. So I'm playing with the controller, but it doesn't like that. It wants me to play with the keyboard. Right. With the full blessing of yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Bermuda Triangle sharks. So now let's see in the mind of another. This is weird. I'm still not making sense of anything. The milkman is dead. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. <laughs> right. I know what you're up to. So, episode's almost over. I want to show you guys this episode, this world, and what we're getting into. They're watching. Oh, stop talking, oh, Mister. Hey. They're watching. Maybe now I'm now. watching. How am I gonna find some creepy graveyard in this? Nice, normal neighborhood. Oh, I love it so much. Do you guys see what I was talking about for seven minutes instead of actually doing it? There's so much to this. And there's gonna be, it's like, this one is very built on puzzles, and you need different keys to access different parts. Keys being, of course, disguises. So, anyways, that's all I'm gonna do for this episode. It's, um, I'm running a tiny bit over, but it's okay. Um. Okay. Everything's taking pictures of me. Alright, this is really weird. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. It makes my day so great. And um, I hope you have a great one as well. And uh, enjoy, everyone. This guy is really messed up, let me tell you. And it's grass stop.